What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Little Roy, a.k.a. Little Roy TV. I know I've been taking a break. Not really. I've just been trying to figure out what to film. I have so many vids, and I know I keep saying that, but it just takes time. Like, I'll be on nonstop just moving around, moving around, this reselling thing, trying to make money, trying to buy stuff, sell things, get stuff. Whatever it is, it's a whole lot of time cons con consuming. Uh, but you see the title, Early Predictions for the Air Jordan 5, Raging Bulls slash the Toros. I have my laptop here. We're going to do resale, predictions, early predictions, all that. All I know is we're going to get right into it. You see the title. Let's get right into it. My hair is not that crazy, but still, I ain't trying to show y'all if I don't have my braids or my hoodie. Yes, I have the hoodie on from all the previous vids, but we just did laundry. And I just threw this on because that was the cleanest thing that was close to me. And I just grabbed it. Sorry, it's the same hoodie. I promise to wear my other hoodies for the videos. But let's get right into it. It's your boy Lil Roy. Make sure you subscribe. If you don't know, as soon as we hit 1K subs, we're doing an absolutely free giveaway. So you definitely want to be a part of that. So subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Comment whatever you want to say. I respond to all my comments for the people that don't know. And follow me on Instagram. Link will be in the description. Let's get into it. First and foremost, let me grab the thing, put my laptop here, uh, so the Raging Bull 5's early predictions, uh, 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 so as a personal, this is a must cop for a lot of people, now I seen this on foot, on a smaller foot, like a GS size, and um, like I said, I'm biased to GS sneakers because to me kids sneakers look the best, they're absolutely the cutest. Um, yeah, so, let me get the, so I'm, this might be, this is how you know how real it is when you get something right. I always said my whole life, if you have something, you're selling merchandise, clothes, hats, whatever, sneakers, whatever is clothes, hats, whatever, jackets, anything, right, red. Chances are I will be pressured to buy it because I love red. Yes, I know this is my newer room, so you see purple. But my last room color, I had a red room. Now it's a purple room because I didn't want to have back-to-back -back red rooms. So, for a personal, this might be a shoe that I finally enter, enter my collection of Jordan 5s. I hate 5s, but Raging Bull 5s may be the one that allows me to maybe keep the shoe now. Uh, so let's get right into it. So right now, prices are held up to what it was, but it kind of dipped down because people had like early access. If you hit on the early access, shout out to you. Uh, Cause last week, literally size 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 is like a myth. That's like sizes like, I don't even know why people get those for regular customers, but last week, size 14 was going for $500. So whoever made that sale was good. If you had early access, I would have went to si I would have went for size 14 if it's for resale, because you could have just flipped that for 500 and boom. But now the price has dipped down. It's like relatively surprisingly right now, because fives isn't that much. Like, I don't know no one that likes fives. Like that's their favorite go-to joint. Oh yeah, fives. Unless maybe you play ball and you probably like how they fit playing ball. But like they dip down to like 300. Some sizes is a little higher than 300. Um, I'm going to post the screenshots like I always do. Whatever. That's the least I could do for you guys to show you so you don't have to go searching for it. But currently at this time, early prediction for resale is going to be worth a cop. If you could get it the day of and sell it quick flip, then make your profit. If you want to hold some sizes then you could do so as well. Me personally, it depends how many pairs I get, but definitely if I hit on my size, I'm going to hold it because I'm not going to rush to sell it if I end up wanting it. You know what I'm saying? But if I get other sizes, and depending how many, then I'll hold, but I'll definitely want to make some profit. You know, you want to build your capital. So if you could hit the day of, then you could decide what shoe and how many you want to sell the day of on if you want to hold some. But every GS size from five and up i won't even say five and up i would low-key say five and a half six well six and up and this colorway and this shoe is going for money the gs sizes i will post that after but men's sizes like i said is 300 and a few sizes is going uh, higher than 300 
Now, for a person, like I said, if you like these, like the old ones, and you wasn't able to touch like I was, when I was in middle school, I probably would have liked the fives better if I would have got the pair, but I never even had a chance to cut the time they dropped this in a pack, and I wasn't having my own money. <sighs> and if I'm not mistaken, my four, if I'm not mistaken, this pack was a little more pricey because it was like a Raging Bull pack with this and the black ones. But I don't know the specifics that came out like I was in middle school, so I don't really know. But if you're copping this for resale, go after it. It's going to be profit, whether if you pay tax or don't pay tax, they're going to be worth the cop. Okay? I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to post the screenshots for the men's and GS, and you can gauge what sizes you're going for as a reseller. If it's personal, then... Every reservation, every raffle you do should be your size. Go true to size. I know I never have a size. I mean, I never had a Jordan 5, so I'm going to just go true to size. I, I, first of all, I know they make 5s big and bulky, so I would not go up a size at all. At all. True to size. So go true size and you should be fine. Uh, hopefully, every time I make an early prediction, that's like good luck. Good luck, not good luck good luck and i end up touching the sneaker so do me a favor like this video comment anything let's speak let's discuss in the comments what you think about the shoe anything you guys want to say let's talk about it uh subscribe to the channel like always as soon as we hit 1k i always say we do a free giveaway so subscribe uh and that's about it i don't want to take too much time so let's end it right here that's all i gotta say good luck to the fellow people out there um i think today on reservation they pick tomorrow so make sure you put your reservations on the flex app and give yourself the best chance if you want it for personal if you want it for resale i don't gotta tell you what to do you guys already know what to do so let's get into it i mean let's get into it let's end it right there see you guys on the flip side your boy little roy's out